Aidan, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Kasper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Kasper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Kasper which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? <laughs> Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's gonna be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. Hello? Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Hello? Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. Just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver and always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye.
star, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. in P10 at the moment. is 1.8 seconds. Casper is a couple of places up on you. is 2.3 seconds. Closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. Casper is directly ahead of you. What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work, and it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper okay? He'll be fine, he's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. There we have it. Well, I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Alfa Romeo garage tonight. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. Okay, the gap behind is 7.1 seconds.
nice move. Good job. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Lapping around a second faster than the car ahead. Keep this up. Five laps of fuel remaining.
teammate behind is 40.3 seconds. Three laps of fuel remaining. Our gap behind is 1.7 seconds. pick up rubber and bring it home. A great race then and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport and it'll be interesting to see how the new Alfa Romeo driver Aidan Jackson settles in. 
especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Alfa Romeo was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about that incident with your teammate. 